Yo, what's up, guys? So we are back with the boys. This is one of the one of the weirdest shows, man. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I really like it though, because it's like, well, f it. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Right where we left off. Mm. I don't like seeing body particles. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say body parts, but you just kept it going with particles. <laughs> Ew, it's a white. Okay. Yeah, that is like that. Right. That they're not flushing it like. Idiots. Guys, we're gonna address it super, super quick, man. Not to be annoying, but. We watched uh, like the first season or so of Breaking Bad on our or channel. First to second. But then we, we stopped watching it just because we decided to watch movies only. But then it's just been a long journey and here we are. But we're going to pick that back up, man, for sure. Let us know if you want to see it. Let's go. But I'm not going to spoil it too much. But she's seen like the first season. Man, you missed the spot. Can't stand it. unthorough. Sorry about all that. Uh, don't be stupid. You did us a favor. What are we going to do with them? Uh, we'll take care of it. <laughs> Excellent work, mate. The, Thank the, you, mate. The, uh, tracking chip. Already disabled. Sit down and relax with you here. Where do you get that chef jacket? <laughs> Look how much blood there is on the wall. Jeez. I'm going home. I need clothes. We'll get you clothes. I want my clothes. Huey, you just <laughs> asked Bond America, sweetheart. You can't just piss off. I need to go home. All right. French will go with you. Wait, what? No. Either he goes with you or I break your legs. <laughs> What? I mean, it seems fair enough, right? You can't trust this kid. Translucent skin it won't burn, huh? Where are you gonna stash it, Homelander? Can't find it. No way. But we can slow the down a bit. Look how the explosion on the walls is so uneven how it would really look. Right. Well, actually, it's so like, evenly distributed. It, it's crazy, though, that they have to sit here and figure out how they're gonna dispose of this thing. Yeah, you better dig it down to the freaking Earth's core. Throw it in a volcano, maybe. There you go. Bomb it. Come on in. Oh, she's probably gonna get in trouble for that video. Ms. Yeah, hundred percent. Is that human resources? <laughs> Starlight, that video. Miss Stowell, please no, no. let me finish. She saw that video on YouTube and she came forward to thank you. That's good, right? It is fantastic. Yeah, some positive You're pulling PR. through the roof. You have a huge boost with men for the ass kicking, of course, but with women too. I don't know what to say. You just have to enjoy this. <laughs> this is Seth and Evan Hi. from marketing. They have some brilliant ideas on how to capitalize on all the buzz. Small town Iowa girl, unexpected child prodigy, is chosen for the seven. The big apple is rough. <laughs> Tumble, it's got worms. <laughs> Dorothy is not in Kansas anymore. Or Iowa. Does she quit? No way. She adapts. She transforms. Embraces her what are feminine they gonna do? strength. Change her Goodbye, costume or something. And hello, Starlight. Oh. Yeah, they gotta skimp it up. No. I like hers. I can't wear that. What? Why not? It's not me. I designed Homelander's suit. It's this terrible. Is my first <laughs> you're yeah. wrong. It's totally you. It says you're confident in your own skin and you're not afraid to show it. Most importantly, it tells a story of your transformation, of what you're going through. How exactly <laughs> do you know what I'm going through? Exactly. I'm fine with my old outfit. We're not. <laughs> this is a partnership. In a partnership, there is give and there is take. It's my body. I have the right to choose how much of it I show. That is true. You do. You just won't be doing it in the seven. She's in that dilemma because she thinks she can do more good in the seven, but she's also going to have to sell to get there, right? A-Train right. versus Shockwave, the race of the century. The question now, Al, is can A-Train <laughs> keep his title as the fastest man alive, or is tomorrow the day he... Just wait here, okay? <laughs> it's pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fast that, like, how do you even see it? You just see the blur? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you're, you're going to pay for that? <laughs> right. I'd record it. That's slow it down. Oh hell no! He used to be a fan. Oh goodness! I'll be honest with you, he has a really douchey room. Well, I think this is him like becoming less douchey by them letting him down like that. Okay. 
This is redemption. I mean, I didn't want to be judgmental. This is I, his redemption. If I saw that arc. room, I'd be like, what smut lives here? A 16 year old. <laughs> Oh, hey, Dad. Yeah, this yeah, is, sorry I'm, about this. I just, I've been meaning to clean up the soup stuff for a while now, so. What, are you going somewhere? Yeah, for a while. Wait, now, you're scaring me, Hugh. All right, now, I, I, I spoke to Dr. Feldman. My pediatrician? He's still your doctor, <laughs> and he's given me the name of someone you can, you can talk to. There's no normal anymore. What There's really mean? not. We've always told each other everything. I have never told you everything. I have never told you how much I hate sitting on that couch staring at the TV like we're already dead. Mm -hmm. How much I fucking hate pizza rolls. Now you love pizza rolls. When I was seven. <laughs> See, uh, he's having his grow up moment. I mean, Pediatrician, I like pizza rolls, not all that. All the time, like a snack, maybe. Especially since we got an air fryer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know? They've adapted. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said, You love pizza rolls. <laughs> Ooh. A Homelander figurine. My father was a bipolar. He tried to smother me with a Hello Kitty duvet. <laughs> what? He said, baby. <laughs> he said, he said, my father was a bipolar. <laughs> he called him a bipolar. Yeah, but why? Because he thought he was bipolar? <laughs> I don't, it don't even matter. He said, my father was a bipolar. <laughs> he called him a bipolar. <laughs> Yeah, I guess maybe just because his dad got mad, he thought he was bipolar, right? Yeah, but it was him who got mad. Maybe he thought that was his dad because he couldn't imagine him yelling. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he was just like, he didn't even answer. He was just like, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that cracked me up so much. He said, my father was a bipolar. <laughs> Yo! Mother's milk. That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what we do here, gentlemen. Now, didn't I tell you we take turns at the pawn? Tell me you put your names up on my board. Apologies, Mr. Milk. No, sir. Which means that you have cut in line in front of everybody else in here. Now, you both know how to write in the English language in a passable fashion. I know that because I've seen to it myself, have I not? Yes, sir. Then please place your John Hancocks on my board. Yes, sir, Mr. Milk. <laughs> Thank you. At the bottom of the list. Dang, he's running a tight ship, huh? <laughs> they were wrestling over the... <laughs> oh, hell no. What? I can't visit me old mate. Rekindle the unbreakable <laughs> bonds of brothers in arms. Nope. Come, Come on. Mate. Look, if it's all the same, let's just cut the small talk. Why are you here? How'd you like to come back and have another guy? Mm -mm. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> I don't want to know nothing about nothing. Monique is back. We're good. Just. Oh, yeah? How is Monique? Spits on the ground every time your name comes up. That's her again, man. <laughs> Not to mention, I'm actually making progress with these boys. Yeah, so I can see. Are they wrestling again? <laughs> That's a whole different cast of characters that was out there the first time. We were into some bad shit, man. Even before the Mallory stuff and that, that was... So they're like ex-partners. Mm -hmm. Funny you should mention making a difference. Because we just dusted a soup. Bullshit. Translucent. Now the bathrooms are safe. <laughs> How the hell did you do it? Big lump of C4. Peck right up his fudger. <laughs> Boom. But before the fireworks, he coughed up a solid lead where he could shake up the whole hornet's nest, bring down Seven and Vaught at the same time. You mean do Homelander? It's always about Becca with you. It'll be different, this go. No, it's secrets and lies, bollocks, and that Mallory shit ain't gonna happen this time, I swear to God. Oh, so it's his fault? Because he got involved with the lady that yeah, was... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you bringing Frenchie back? Because I can't work with that motherfucker. Why? Frenchie, no, I ain't seen him in years. <laughs> <laughs> no. Senator Calhoun, His you've coffee gone on the record against superheroes <laughs> in the military. Ah. It shouldn't be decided by a Can't you make it stop? It He's not crying. Oh, no, we can't put that back on. I heard Translucent's tracking chip went dead. He could be hurt. Uh, how? He's got diamond skin. He's going to be fine. My guys are on it. I forgot to give you these. Here. Those I'm not trying to be weird, but if he's got diamond skin, how'd now they get the it up there? Terry Bill is out of committee. <laughs> you know what I mean? That Corporate weird tool. Wants to sell the sh out of it. Oh, a mallet. <laughs> you, you remember when you wanted me in the red cape and, and I said, no, 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 no. Make it the flag. I don't need these. I can sell my way into the military. Mr. Edgar wrote those personally. So if you want to go to 82 and take it up with him, be my guest. Who's that? 
Man, you need to take that flag off mugging at babies. How do you hate babies? Conspicuous? No, I don't think it's conspicuous. Hi, Huey. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> what do you do? You give the game away Not until this frog gets what's coming. The only thing that is coming is me and your mother and titties from the Georgia. <laughs> More American than you, you racist piece of. Call out to Mallory's grandkids. Tell them it's water under the bridge. It wasn't my fault, huh? Who is Mallory? All right, look, both of you, knock it on the head now! <laughs> <laughs> no one calls that the Rick Roll. What's that song from? Roblox or something? I don't hey, know. Man. I don't know. I think it's from Roblox. Oh, I forgot to marinate the tilapia. I am so sorry, <laughs> sweetheart. How about on my way home from work, I stop by DeLuca's, pick up two fat tenderloins? Okay, <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> Baby, I just... I love you. you don't want to say it. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> they were just fighting in that room. Fuck all of y'all, okay? Listen, you two numbers. Kiss my cum. Out of here. <laughs> Who's this guy? Huey. Mother's Milk. That's a nickname? No, my mother actually named me Mother's Milk. <laughs> 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 Just don't ask, bro. <laughs> She's home. That's Pop Cut, right? Adrian's girlfriend? No. According to Translucent, I train knows this bird inside out. I'll drop the check off ASAP. Okay. All right. Let's get the bug sorted and see for ourselves. Why'd they show her butt like that? Was he, <laughs> did he not know that she had a butt? City? <laughs> right? You know, we don't actually need to sneak in anything. Look, all I need is her IPv6 number. And every desktop, every smart TV in the house has a camera on it. You're gonna hack it. Even in the toilet? No, French, oh. not in the toilet. Look, I just need five <laughs> minutes inside. Everyone has an IE name except Mother's Milk. What the heck? Hello, and man. Could We're with Ryman Audio Visual. We got sure. the new router. I didn't make an appointment. Oh, well, your manager did. He's upgrading the whole building. And we can get you all the way up to 1,000 Mbps. That's, that's a lot. Okay. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? She's like Homelander. No, well, she's a superhero, uh, yeah, too. Just not like a... Server what they call her? Something Claw? Package. Pop Claw. Yeah, sure. We're really big fans. I mean, Terminal Beauty 3? <sighs> Thanks. Yeah, that one really came together. Let me know if you guys need anything else. Thank you. He's like, uh, disgusting. Now he hates this woman, don't he? Mm-hmm. You gonna have that all day? Let's go. He has no idea that was not what he was doing. They just met. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. This kid is full of surprises. So he's needed. He's the Thank IT guys. guy. Well, let's Thank go. Thank you. Yeah, they need him like Joyce needed Bob, huh? Excuse me, but... Oh! <laughs> we want an autograph or something? So he didn't even notice him. Haven't we met before? Maybe. I meet a ton of people. Let's get out of here. Excuse us, brother. Yeah. So no remorse. Are you None. Yeah, she's not in this a whole lot. Yeah. Look, Translucent's probably just lurking around a gynecologist's office or something. Two days? Come on. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is no one concerned about this? Because if people find out one of the seven is missing, they panic. Give them hell, Homelander. Yeah, you bet, pal. They're in like an active shooter situation right now. <laughs> They're not even stressing it. I She's know. Like attack on me. You've managed to make this about you in less than 20 seconds flat. Man, those cops are way too calm. Why aren't you just <laughs> sitting there like that? Homelander, Steve. Captain, you guys are the real heroes. <laughs> Elevators? <laughs> I'm just saying a missing team member is more important than A-Train's insipid race. I've x-rayed Edgar, you know. He is this close to a coroner. They're just people. But they snap their fingers and we jump. Why? Because they sign our checks. Can we just cut to the part where you show up to the race anyway? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's all over. It's all over now. There you go. 
Why did he give himself up so unrealistically? He's like, hey, don't mind me. So he killed him? Well, he should have killed him. He's sitting there shooting at everybody. But it looked like he sucked. He missed. <laughs> that was my color. Yeah, it still is. I got excited. I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. You know the drill. He shot at us first. But he... To be honest, though, I don't really know why you need an excuse to kill that guy. If he's sitting sorry, there shooting at everybody like that. Yeah. Right. Not even dead. His You're right about that, round. but like, what, what I saw hell? was he gave himself up quick. And that's not what I just seen. And that's what they're Yeah, but why'd you get yourself twisting. up like that? That was weird. But yeah, that's kind of jacked up. <laughs> this isn't creepy at all, guys. <laughs> Want me to do the thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Hell no. Stop. Stop. Dead serious, dude. I, I literally brought through up this morning. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to watch this. It's gonna make me feel nauseous. That's the problem. Shockwave's a problem. What if I lose? You're not gonna lose. You know what Stillwell told me? If I don't win, I'm out. Nobody wants the second fastest man in the seven. Compound V, where'd you put it? Sure, oh, he wants that steroid, stuff. huh? Amps you up something fierce. Remember last time? Last time's not gonna happen again. I'm under control. I'm good. He was on compound V when he Mental, ran through that girl. Baby. Oh my god. Not what I, I thought compound control. V was a place. A slippery slope. He said he wants to take it, so it's a steroid. Yeah. Oh, I, I need it. Honey, to I'll win. Still love you even if you lose. I don't want to be some washed up B squatter. Like me? No, not like that's. I gotta go. Why don't you just tell me where the V is, please? I'll come back to see you tomorrow after the race. After your feet are all checked. What up. are you talking about? Are you kidding me? I have been getting my hair done, threading my eyebrows, waxing my body like a plucked chicken, so that we could finally stand up there together tomorrow, in front of the world as a couple. I mean, it was all cleared with Stillwell and everything. Why'd you have to do all that? You did clear it with Stillwell. Look, our time is going to come. I promise. Where's the V? What the hell is Compound V? Sounds like some kind of performance enhancer. Yeah, well, whatever it was, he was juiced on it when he murdered Robin. She needs to go brush her damn teeth. I wonder why she has it. What are you grinning at? Oh, what the night, mate. Maybe it's because the Seven might just be a squad of manky roid heads. If we get a bit, can you work it out? Well, I can run some tests, of course. But there's no way of knowing unless I try so myself. <laughs> Amazing of idea. Course. We'll cross that bridge when we burn it. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we burn it. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. I literally thought it was a place where they made superheroes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Here's your cover. You're a mild-mannered reporter. Which tells me he met you, what, a few days ago? Yeah, it sounds right. I don't know, I've kind of lost track of time. Some translucent, huh? How the f did you pull that off? I don't know, just lucky, I guess. Must have been scary. You want to know what's really messed up? In some ways, just right in that moment, it... Oh, he liked it. good. Mm. It's written all over your face, Huey. What have <laughs> you done? When I had the detonator in my hand, I felt like a... I feel like a rush. But that rush, Huey, it's no different than the shit A-Train shoots up. The last thing I ever said to Robin was, don't you ever besmirch Billy Joel. That was the last thing that she heard before she burst into pieces. And you know, I got to live with that shit for the rest of my life. Like Man, he wished he would have said something better. Well, yeah, but what if somebody Price. ran through the house right now and you know what I'm saying? The last thing you ever heard was, you know Whatever what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll pay it. This is a weird show because it's not really a show about like how much I like characters, it's about how much I hate them. And I'm not really used to that. Right, it's, it's this very is different. our different, legacy yeah. and our future. <laughs> Athletes achieving at the highest level. The showdown. <laughs> very, very quick. Aww. The train is ready to leave the station. The fastest men in the world are here in New York. Who will come out on top? That man's a shockwave fan today, ain't he? But they must do it where only some of them take compound V. Maybe just the seven or something? Maybe. But why would Pop Claw have it then, you know? I don't know. They got a Vaseline his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you faster. 
Hey, Ma is looking down on you us. You don't want right now. <laughs> Go back. I got this. That's what I'm talking about. This, yeah. right. The newest member of the seven, Starlight. Oh, yeah. If the people want us in the armed forces, the people can order Congress to do it. Am I right? I got the U.S. Congress, bro. <laughs> Who's ready to see a race? Huh? You <laughs> What an ale. The problem is, is he's not even likable, though. Like, you'd have to really spend some propaganda to make you like that dude. But I don't know. It can be done. Oh. Is it okay if I get a selfie? Of course, honey. Take this. You really dress the part. It's your old uniform. But I'm saving it for the new one. <laughs> hey, Starlight, show us your tits. Man, go slap that dude. <laughs> that little dork. Hey, 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 you do not need to press your luck right now. Save your money. I like that one much better. Me too. I need a minute. Glad you made it. Remember when we used to just fly off to Paris, like, on a whim? I remember freezing my ass off across the Atlantic. How did we ever break out? Mind Whoa, if we not they were crack open that tawdry little chapter? Is this America or England? You know. Who does that? <laughs> Is that the royal family or something? If I ever really thought that you'd fallen for someone else, I don't think I could handle it. Is that so? He's kind of scary. Yeah, <laughs> okay. lyrics was those. it's gonna be like a two second event <laughs> he's like handle your fears in the octagon and let your head meet my blood or something like that. what the hell <laughs> all right frenchy find it you're in the clear oh yeah he knows her as annie 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 hi <laughs> <laughs> from the Perfect. bench the other day you're uh <laughs> he's just hanging there <laughs> Well, Huey, you know Starlight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Huey, it was it was really nice to see you, but I should get going. No, Huey, you need more time. Can I uh, buy you an overpriced beer? Throw in some overpriced nachos? Lead the way. How's he doing flips off the rope? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he just hanging on it? <laughs> no, he must have eaten somewhere else. You seem so normal. And now it's just... No, I'm a freak. No, no, not at No, that's not what I meant at all. I just meant, I just, I wasn't getting Beyonce vibes. But <laughs> now that you don't have them. I'm messing with you. Okay. It was really nice to talk to someone who didn't know who I was. I don't know if they really want you to be a hero. I think they just want you to look like one. She could be useful. What a damn good guy. On the bench, when you were talking about how much you hated your job, you meant... You meant this job. Then, um, just quit. Just walk away. I mean, you got nothing to prove. I should probably get back, you know, before they set a search party for me. I know you're you and everything, but if you ever just wanted to, you know, get... Would you like my number? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what I was asking. Okay. Do I call you or do I just commit a crime? Probably committing a crime would get me to you quicker, so. <laughs> I feel like she can't just walk away, though. I feel like she's going to help them eventually. Well, I know, but. Like, yeah, she's going to be she a might. boy. She's going to be the boys. Do you think if she just tried to walk away and was like, I just want to go back to the grocery store, you know, quote unquote, do you think they would let her? I don't think no, so. She no. knows too much. <laughs> oh, he's tweaking. You all right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fast, baby. Like I'll roll, you know? Her spirit is flowing through my body, you know what I'm saying? Her spirit. Ah! We've got eyes on a train. He's totally jacked. He must have shot up the pee. We missed the boys. But what did you think? He was just gonna tote it around? I'll check in later. Where the hell are you going? Just gonna see about a girl. Man, why? Because he saw, I think he saw her about to shoot it up. Yeah, but tell your people. Who do you think is going to win? Look. 
they hate each other or something. Um, A Train. Who do you think? He just shot up. A Train. He's gonna win. <laughs> I don't only think he's gonna win because he just shot up. I think he's gonna win because he's faster. Dang. <laughs> How can you even tell? <laughs> One almost, bro. It's like one second. <laughs> I'd be pissed if the event lasted one second. I know, and it was pay per view. That's what I'm saying. Right. So how the hell do you know Starlight? I don't really know her. Know her. Met on a park bench. You get a number. Yeah. Good. Hey, man. Pop claws eyeballing a vial of V like it's made of Snickers. <laughs> Get over here now. Shockwave ran a good, clean race, but uh, there can only be one fastest man in the world, and that's the A Train, baby. <laughs> he won a good, clean race. <laughs> How you celebrating tonight? Any special girl? Uh, I'm always in the game, but I'm too fast to catch. I'm open to offers, though, lady. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I would kill you. Well, she's a fool for not knowing. She's over here playing dumb. She's like, all right, compound V time. She's about to become like a super X stalker. <sighs> oh, she likes to go hit the gym. <laughs> and now, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> As you know, to keep an eye on it. Cause he saw okay. that bag. You see that red case over yeah. there? Yeah. I've been around long enough to know a fixed kit when I see one. I figured if you wait around long enough, two plus two equals nasty. Shell of an army. <laughs> Not a minute. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's why she's called Pop Claw. <laughs> they just pop out, huh? They're retractable. Hey, Pop Claw. Oh, Mr. Lutz, um, house call? I'm just here for the rent. You should come in. I don't bite. Unless you want me to. Oh, Lord. That was a joke, Alec. Okay, let's get that check. <laughs> you want a drink, Alec? You prefer Alec or Alexander? Alec? It's actually short for uh, Alexi. Like what you see? Huh? No. Yes. I mean... A lot of guys have a superhero fantasy. <gasps> there is a world where we could come to understanding. <laughs> Of the law. Oh no! Oh, God, me. <laughs> You're not a cat burglar. You're a fuzzy pig. What in the world? <laughs> is she smothering him? Is she? Maybe not on purpose. Maybe the drugs are making her. I can't breathe. All right, wait, wait, hold on. Hang it back. She must have some stinking ass. <gasps> Bro, that's the weirdest thing. That's the worst way to die. Ooh. Or maybe she'll never have to pay rent again. That was strange, Popclaw. Oh. You let that guy die. He was dead already. That's bullshit. So you can cross a street, run up four flights of stairs in ten seconds like some soup. And even if your head had got there, she would have clawed your fucking head off. Now we got her right where we want her. That was very strange, huh? But they have her killing someone on camera. Their reputations. Oh, yeah, but that's like, you gotta turn that in immediately or you're liable for that, right? You can't just hold information like that. Whatever the price, you'll pay it. Right? <laughs> what? They're crazy, crazy. Oh, God, God dang, y'all are wild. Easy, easy. That lady right there grosses me out, boy. I know what you gotta do. Tell us everything you know about this. Oh, they're gonna help her for some info. Where is the fire? No, no, not fire. Water. Just ask my little guppy here. <laughs> <laughs> you can show her. <laughs> he just takes it. <laughs> A fucking porpoise found this at the bottom of the harbor. Go ahead, don't be shy. <sighs> is that translucent? Still think we got nothing to worry about? How did they even get through his skin? I'm kind of a maniac. Mm -mm. Not a maniac. I'm smart, actually. What can't I see through? Zinc, Homelander. Correct. 
And what's the box made of, deep? Zinc. Zinc. Correct, again. So they were just buying time. Why do you say that? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Did you see the way he jumped when he said? Because it's a presentation. He's, he needs to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> they just declared war. It's kind of crazy, huh? This episode was a popping experience, I'll put it that way. <laughs> when he said that he couldn't breathe, I thought it was because that girl's booty stink, but it turns out it's because she was absolutely putting them clamps on your boy. Like we seen Oberon's head get smushed, but we ain't seen that head get smushed like that, boy. Have you ever seen the thing where the girl like breaks the damn watermelon with her legs? She like <laughs> breaks it. You've never seen that? Anyways, yeah, look out for that. Don't ever, don't ever <laughs> mess with that. Um, anyways. I'm glad that you've never done that to me. <laughs> pop, pop my head at least. Anyways, guys, this episode was crazy. I think that it is a TV show that it's hard to like love the characters, I guess. I kind of hate them. I kind of feel like dirty watching the show. It's like a grody show, but it's a really good show, man. It's really intriguing. And ultimately, everyone knows that people get really invested in things, especially when you're mad at them. So I don't like the characters at all. So in that sense, I'm really invested in the show because I really like, want to see the You demise. don't like Annie and Huey? Yeah, no, they're great. No, no, no. I love, I love that side of it for sure. And I like Starlight and all that. But I'm talking about like, you know, uh, Captain Douche and all those people. I mean, those characters really suck. So, I mean, obviously I like the characters, but you just really dislike the characters in this. Like the ones that you're supposed mm. to dislike, you know? Kind of like Steve. I didn't like Steve at the beginning of Stranger Things that much. But like, how much can you really dislike But the thing Steve? is, are we gonna ever like Homelander? That's the thing. I don't know. Because mm -hmm. when I seen this right here, I was like, oh, we're gonna love that guy. Homelander at this point, <laughs> to me, is already like irredeemable. I mean, unless he saves the planet. He kind of has like a, like he kind of seems... Like a bot, kind of. Well, he's like, cliche. He's, he's cliche to the extreme. Well, he seems like, like I don't know, like he has no, like, what is it called? Free will? Agency. Yeah, he has agency. No agency. Yeah. yeah, it seems like whatever his, he's just like married to the superhero game strong. That's why he doesn't even have right. like a he's like a He's like a programmed, he's like a programmed superhero. It's almost like he's like a, like a robot. Right. A yeah, he's very weird. He's cliche to the extreme. And that's why you don't like him because he's just so obnoxious. Like. They're sitting there walking around. There's open gunfire. People's lives are on the line. He's like, you guys are the true heroes putting your necks on the line. They go up there and they're just dallying around. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, so Compound V is a steroid. It became pretty obvious in the show. It's like a steroid of some sort for superheroes. Yeah, but they like make it kind of seem like it's addictive, like a drug. Right. Like they're shooting right, it up like heroin or yeah, something. Yeah, because she the way she did it was when she got upset, she took it. Like when she realized things weren't going her way, she, right. she resorted to go do that kind of like they were imitating it like heroin yeah basically yeah, yeah. which and which uh, <laughs> made her really strong apparently like right like ultimately strong and it made her want to fight and stuff it was weird it made her want to do something <laughs> i don't really want to say what it made her want to do so we basically need to figure out who's supplying the compound v all that or like who gets it and why because i don't think annie has had anything to do with compound v even though she's in the seven but maybe she will. I don't know. Like, there's probably so much leverage on these superheroes, you know? Mm. I mean, maybe that's just a part of it. It'll all tie in. But um, yeah, like maybe step one was just like sexify her uniform. No, that was st like step one. And then step oh, two might be step, one. step two might be give her a little compound V in the drink. Basically, just like crack her the hell out <laughs> and have her like coked out. But they're pimping her out, basically. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, crazy, crazy show. I just think it's crazy how much propaganda goes into it. How they're hitting the nail on the head when Starlight said, I don't think they really want us to be heroes. They just want us to be like mouthpieces. And basically, it's like an industry. And they're trying to infiltrate everything. And it's like, ultimately, every bad guy's goal has always been to take over everything. Yeah. So it's just funny how some people choose to do it, you know. And they're trying and to do it with like superheroes. They're doing and, it with the military. like. Well, they're manipulating dumb people who are voting, too. Mm -hmm. They're like... Put us in the military, expand it, make it bigger, make it more powerful for us. And I don't know. And they were, and they're doing all the right tricks. They're like, oh, we don't want no executive action. We want the people to decide. But they're constantly propagating the people, twenty four seven. So they actually can't even really make like a fair choice. It's just a crazy world, man. So it's a really nasty world, and I'm ready to get back into it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like glad I don't live there. <laughs> the female of the species. And then they showed Homelander. <laughs> Once again, quite a list. He's like, that's some good kisses, mate. Oh, that was Billy? <sighs> that wasn't that lady who was in her house, right? I don't know who that lady is. This may be their last reunion tour ever. Oh, come off it. <laughs> I want you to come with me. Do oh, she me? wants him to go to some washed up band from her childhood. <laughs> you know how you got invited to a, uh, well, never mind. 
Oh, is that Becca? Did you know how like Instinct's always playing and stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She wants to go to one of those. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, so I think Homelander killed Becca. You think so? Either killed her or like had relations with her. Yeah, maybe. That's why that guy said, do you have a dog? And he was like, no. I go to the welfare. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Breakfast of Champions. You love Pizza Pockets. I don't know. Becca isn't Queen Maeve, is she? No. Oh. Morning, Deputy Director. You're like the f***ing mold on my laundry room tiles. You scrape it off, comes right back. I can stop them getting soups in the military. What makes you think I care? Last week, A-Train. Mainline before the big race. They call it Compound V. It's some kind of booster, a steroid for soups. Got a sample? Not yet. This could be heroin. It could be anything. You think soups are c now. You just wait till they're wearing camo. I mean, what's to stop Sergeant Homelander from killing a couple of hundred thousand Chinese? I mean, you might as well hand the bloody launch keys over to Vault right now. You get me some hard proof, and maybe I'll throw you a few bucks for your operating costs. But if you f me on this for the rest of your life, you'll be drinking your own piss at a black site. Say you understand. We understand. <laughs> You can't have two alpha males because inevitably someone's. Say you f***ing understand. <laughs> I understand. I already told you A Train runs the compound B. Yeah, runs the compound B to the noodle shop up on Division. Every time he leaves with the V, he comes back with the sesame noodles. That's all I know. Well, you better be right, love, or you and your dearly departed landlord are gonna find yourselves on Pornhub. In the fatal cunning linger section. You son of a! If you even. Sorry, baby, just works has been a mother lately. You know I'd much rather be at home rubbing on them toes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweetheart. Talk to you. Talk to you. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> you know, Jean Paul Sartre said, marriage, stifles are essential male urges. John Paul Satter also died an old lonely mother. Come on, Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you and Monique have something so pure, why are you lying to her about where you are? Mm. Noodle guy. He's pecking. This is when it'd be really convenient to be translucent. Mm hmm. I'm scared, but you Stop calling me that. I'm six feet tall. They seem so tall looking at him on the TV, but they're really not. He's only six foot. <laughs> oh, they're really eating noodles. A cage? Who's in there? Oh, Frenchie, what are you doing? Man, you gotta get her out. I know. What is she doing in there? <laughs> oh. Who's that? I think we should let her go. No, 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 is that no, a no. is that a grown up or a We're kid? For the V, and we get out. This is There's a beer, so I think it's a a grown up. Sound like butcher. I'd be more hesitant if it's a grown up. <laughs> Damn it, Frenchie, what the Oh man. Oh, so she's like a superhuman. Yeah. Ooh. She's like the baby Wolverine. He rather would kill himself than deal with her. Maybe that was a bad idea. A couple weeks ago, we were getting wasted in the common room. I don't know, maybe I was just drunk, but you know, I tried. I hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Guys. No about dolphins. <laughs> Did you know in Japan that they hunt down and slaughter 20,000 dolphins a year? Great wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, there. <laughs> so when he said his, his friend was actually a porpoise, he was for real? He was for real. I guess he's a real. <laughs> So he, so he like is passionate about for real talking to animals and he don't think they'll understand him. And his grody ass is sitting in therapy crying about dolphins while he's like assaulting people. What the Brother. heck? Brother. <laughs> what in the world? And that night, A-Train thought it'd be funny to stick a 
blow up dolphin in my bed with lipstick on its blowhole. I'm sorry. I'm the diversity higher. <laughs> I'm a joke. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can talk to fish, so what? Kevin, that's just not true. Where would that carnival cruise ship be without you? Okay, I need to self-actualize, show more confidence. You need to show I'm less, brother. <laughs> can do anything I set my mind to? What do you want to set your mind to? Yeah, why did he do that if he's so, like, about his animals? Why was he being crazy? I'm glad they let him live, though. You all right? I mean, just when you think this shit can't get any more horrible. Nah, don't worry. Get a little more horrible. Oh, God. <laughs> How? <laughs> we hope not. Oh, that they let her go? I think the show was just trolling us as I think, an audience. I think the show wants us to want her and Frenchie to be together eventually. Hey, Butcher. Come check this out. They came gift wrapped in this. Find out where it came from. Why the hell were they dosing her? Why don't we ask Foie Gras over here? She looked innocent. She's locked up in a cage <laughs> underground with two armed guards. You never follow the plan, man. You need to unclench your asshole. You need to eat my <laughs> clenched asshole. All we gotta do is find the female first. He's probably attacking a bunch of people. Oh, you think that's the news going off? Uh, or Annie? Who's that, Annie? Nobody. Slaughtering downtown. Annie. Starlight? Yeah, it's nothing. I mean, we were supposed to go on a date. He's not gonna like that. <laughs> Call about it right now. You're f***ing going. Oh. As a rule, I don't usually go out after a gory massacre. Listen, you're mm. gonna unlock her phone. From now on, we hear everything she says. Right. Yeah, she's not a... She's not a bad person. She's a soup. Just Aww. like the rest of them. Translucent does not show his face soon. People are going to start to notice. Tell the world he died tragically in service of his country. We could have an amazing funeral bigger than Kennedy's. I don't know. Admit that one of our unkillable superheroes just got killed. Kiss that military bill goodbye. Oh. We sent him to a different planet. <laughs> He's fighting MS-13. Ooh, yes, that's good. Simple, done, boom. MS-13, I like it. <laughs> Hello? What? Seven minutes ago, Trans Oceanic Flight 37 from Paris to Chicago was hijacked mid-air. Did they scramble F-16s? Yep, as we speak. But you can get there quicker. If you bring those passengers back alive, not one congressman will have the balls to vote against our bill. Ironic. This is our chance. Right, like who hired those hijackers? And how'd y'all know before everybody? <laughs> Concentrate on health thing. It's not a guarantee, but it should knock out your girl. I I miss you. I got us a pied at terre on the Bowery. Mm -mm. When will you be coming by? As soon as I can. Promise. Promise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't make me use that gas on you. I've never really understood why a dude would like for a girl to just take control of his ass like that. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Well, I think that's why Frenchie doesn't really like her. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> he uses her pretty much. <laughs> when will they intercept? Hey, do you have a second? It is not really a good time. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it. Super quick. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I found a mission. I think it's really important, and I'd like to do it with your permission, of course. Ocean land. Ocean <laughs> land. Get this, the dolphins there. I mean, they are really underfed and abused. You do realize that you are at the centerpiece of the ocean land fall campaign. Yeah, well, I mean, we could just bail on that, right? The deal sucks anyways. No, we can't. <laughs> Deep, play to your strengths. Oh. <laughs> hey, baby. Man, she's got some secrets to spill, don't she? He saw, though. He saw someone leaving the house. Who did you tell about Compound B? Nobody. You're being paranoid. Who else did you f tell? Uh oh. Don't yell at me. I love you. You know I do. I've loved you since the first time oh, that really? we met. I heard you at the race. Come on, I have to say those things. You know this? They make me. Do you remember when you relapsed? I 
stay and I rubbed your back, cleaned up your puke. I'm there for you, always. I know, baby. Tell me who you told. Uh-oh. So we're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. I didn't tell anyone. Either way, you're gonna have to pack a bag, so... Why? Where are we going? I'm gonna take care of this. But until I do, I gotta get you somewhere safe before Homelander finds out. I don't really know how he feels about her. I'm Me too, confused. because I know that they're bad, though, too, with PR. So I don't know, like, how much of that is true. Mm. <gasps> Money, Patty, a special deal. <laughs> Why? That seemed personal, didn't it? She's seen her. And... So this fall, remember, go deep. Go Ocean Land. All right, let's see what you got. That's you. Whatever, dude. I've never lost That's you. That's you. That is not how I bowl. I had my first kiss with Amy Sealer in the men's bathroom when I was 14. It was really romantic. I'm sure that's exactly how she pictured her first kiss. <laughs> Excuse me, where was your first kiss? Prom. It was amazing. Yeah, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so your first kiss was when you were 18? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a very... Jesus-centric childhood. What were you saying? No, just about prom. I'm gonna throw one. Throw one? Ah. That's you again. It's kind of annoying because what I'm actually really good like? at bowling. And you're just trying me up. That's a conversation. Now we need to play. Time. Yes, it was. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah, it just popped into my head as a kid. He was my favorite. He spends most of his free time with his son. He's got a son? Yeah, early divorce, I think. It's about uh -oh. 10. <laughs> Aw, he genuinely felt terrible after hearing that. I mean, I hate to be a horrible person, but I'm just going to say it. His dad was terrible. Yeah, he was in bathrooms and... Yeah, he was absolutely gross. <laughs> There's Homelander. Never mind. So obviously she flies too. Well, yeah, remember they were flying across the ocean? Yeah, well, I thought maybe he, he could have. Yeah. You're all gonna be fine. Thank you, Homelander. Good job, Homelander. <laughs> Come on now, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, sweetheart? Yeah? He made sure to do that so she'd remember it forever. <laughs> Captain? Is the door locked? Stop! Stop! Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy. Oh man, now the plane's going down. Oh no. Hey, Jen! Can you fly a plane? Well, it wouldn't matter if I did. But Captain Marvel could have stopped it. That's what I'm thinking. He can't just stop it? I mean, easy for me to say. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Spider-Man would have got his webs and been like... I know, he'd have stretched some things all the way to France, wouldn't he? Everything's under control. You gotta go out there. Lift the plane up. Right. Lift the plane? <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. That luggage fell on that lady's head and squashed it. One by one, you fly him to the ground. <laughs> Come back 123 times. Take him by twos. We're done here. Please. Everything's fine, guys. Everything's fine. No, 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 no. I'm just oh. seeing something down the back. <laughs> oh my God, was that Lindsay Lohan? Uh, oh, Linda, are you going to save us? Oh, sweetheart, of course I'm going to save you. You betcha. Mm -hmm. Back down. Hey. <laughs> Dang, you made it worse for everybody. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He doesn't so want that. Yeah, witnesses. Die? Come on! No. Oh my God. You stay the f back and I'll laser you, God damn it! I'll laser every f one of you. Oh my gosh. Please stay. Oh, no. How can you? Don't you can't. Me, but now they have to because they're gonna tell. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh. Oh no. That was crazy. So Maeve bro. can't fly. 
Yeah, somebody fell out. Homicide. You got here fast. Yeah, it was on the squawker. <laughs> the squawker. <laughs> it's a gang hit. And who told you that, eh? I'm not arguing with him. This man walks up and says, gang hit. Cheers, bye. A gang of panthers or what? Ooh, smart. What if he made me? He didn't see you. Vought don't send a soup to do a gang hit, all right? Roberta Cho, mother of four, loved Mexican food, and smuggled in a ton of immigrants from all over the Pacific. That wanker can cover all of Manhattan in 30 minutes. He's gonna find her before we do. You know what you want? I know where she's going. Penn Station. I'm Ezekiel, and I want you to join me at the Believe Expo. Ain't that the guy who was beating everybody off? Or am I wrong? I thought that was the girl she's Look, gonna marry. The guy, to convert the mask. The guy she's right. marrying on Kill Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm donating my appearance fee to the Covenant House. Are you okay? Yeah, yes. Yeah. You seem a little... I don't know. Like you're an undercover agent. Right. You seem a little wiry. You know what I'm saying? That's you. Never. Hmm. I'll lose my hand before I throw a gutter ball. I got a question. If you're better than me, why do I beat you? Um, because we had bumpers, and you know and you what? Played on them. And no, you use them to your advantage. Uh -uh, if I'm being honest, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, I know y'all don't really uh -uh, give a crap uh -uh. about our bowling stories, but just so you know, we go on a date a long time ago. The bumpers come automatically. I'm like, hey, do you want me to ask the worker to get the bumpers off? She's too socially awkward. She says no, so I beat her anyways. Yeah, but I start the no, game out listen, with three straight strikes. But listen, no, that's not even fair. He used the bumpers to his advantage. He used the wall to hit the ball. After I rolled three straight strikes. Three straight strikes. I started using the bumpers to bing the ball. Yeah, but no, I never hit the bumpers once because I don't throw gutter balls right down the middle every you time. You took a class to learn the ball, though. I didn't. I'm a natural, and I'm undefeated. It was sure. a course. They don't care. They don't even like bowling. When you throw a spare every time. I'm a little suspicious of you. You are? Yeah, you're too nice. You say you bowled a lot, and, you know, you have, like, superpowers, yet you are a remarkably shitty bowler. <laughs> I think you're holding back for some weird, not gonna show me up on a first date reason. She's about to bowl three turkeys or whatever. <laughs> See, this is why I win. That's me right there. What do you oh, mean? <laughs> okay. Now that's a strike. If you bowled like that on her first date, I don't know if there'd be a second one. <laughs> <laughs> He ran down the account number, and the box containing the V came from Samaritan's Embrace. What the f is that Jesus thumping elastic bastard got to do with it? Oh, you're right. It was Elastic Man. Mm -hmm. Platforms. Ground floor, I'll take upstairs. Whoever pings her, get on to Frenchie and stick with her till we use the gas, right? But she's gonna, like, kill them. Yeah, you would think, right? Do you know what I just thought about? Hmm. They're going to spin it and say that they need to be ingrained into the military now. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They're going to go, we could have stopped it. They're going to act like they weren't there. That's what I would do. If I was running like a PR campaign. Is there another kid in a cage? No, she's going to be watching it, I bet. <gasps> no, no. He's okay. He's gone. I'm not here to hurt you. Can I tell you a secret? I never told anyone. When I was a boy, my father, he stole me from Mamo. In Marseille, middle of the night, just broke in, took me. Kept me with him for years. Every few nights, take me out for a walk. Smoke a good wash, tell me you love me. Then... He put it out on his leg. I tried to run away so many times. I jumped buses, trains, anything to get back to Marseille. To Mamo. But every time he find me, so I know what it's like to want to go home. Oh, you're not a bad person. Just a scared one. Uh oh. Let me help you. Did you see her? Which way is she going? I don't know. Did you try to gas her? No. Why not? It didn't seem right, huh? You went off plan because it didn't seem I'm right. I'm sorry, okay? He might not be cut out for this line of work. Sean Jakowski. It's such a huge crush on him. And he finally asked me out to this party. Then all of a sudden, this senior shoved Sean, and then he hit him. I kicked the guy's ass. For you. <laughs> Never spoke to me again. Yeah, I can see that. Never show your strength to a boy you like. Um, yeah. 
ketchup. What? You don't like that? It doesn't work for you? <laughs> oh no. Save my spot. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get bench pressed and lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he definitely feels like the killer from Scream now. So where's the girl, Frenchie? Since you're the psycho chick whisperer all of a sudden. Maybe she wants to find a train, huh? Oh, yeah. How deep up your ass did you pull that? Huh? We had orders. We're supposed to follow them. We're professionals and we count on each other. What happened the night that Mallory had your tail lamplighter? Oh, that's enough. Mallory was our <laughs> boss, man. Tail lamplighter? You were supposed to follow lamplighter, tell him, but you let him go. I didn't know. And lamplighter goes and torches Mallory's grandkids. I didn't know. It doesn't matter. Lamplighter's the one that retired. This butcher, I'm done. You said this time would be different. But this motherfucker still here doing the same old <laughs> shit. And we're all gonna fing end up like Mallory. What sporty spice up to? I don't know. Exactly. How about Posh? You mm. know what she's doing? I don't understand. Making clothes for anorexics. Right, not exactly a growth market. <laughs> the spicy girl reference. Ginger, on the other hand, has released three albums Passion, oh, Schizophonic, oh. and Scream If You Want to Go Faster. <laughs> <laughs> When they're apart, rubbish. <laughs> you put them together. Now they're going to twice again. <laughs> Justin Timberlake's over here like, don't want me in. I had a solo career. How do you know so much about the Spice Girls? <laughs> <laughs> that we're all shine by ourselves. We need each other. We're in the woman. There was a fly in the shot, so instead of editing it out, they just added a sound effect of a fly. That was funny. I thought it was like the Ant Man version. <laughs> Jesus, he gives the worst pep talks. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. Yes! Do the spice girl. I cannot with that guy. <laughs> Next up, the Atlantic Ocean. That's right. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's like crying. He was like, Next up, the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> he just sprayed him. I mean, let's just focus on the escape first and, uh, you know, we can talk about that some other time. I like you too. You know that. <laughs> Aww. Now is not the appropriate time. Plus, you're making things awkward. Oh. <laughs> if I just touch it, will you shut up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this show is obnoxious. <clears throat> There's no way. That poor dolphin. It was saying some weird stuff at the end. That dolphin's overly aggressive. <laughs> I thought like Game of Thrones was going to be the worst thing on her channel. <laughs> 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 Oh, she was okay. Well, she was juiced up. And obviously she has some type of powers. Oh, <laughs> you don't think? <laughs> hey, but I didn't know it was like, you know, the ability to not get your head broken. <laughs> Let me talk to her. Don't be fucking stupid. Mm. What if she's a Spice Girl? <laughs> oh yeah, they could use her maybe. Yeah, she doesn't claw him to death. Let me help you go home. Oh. Um. She ain't no Spice Girl. <laughs> if she's a Spice Girl, that's Slice and Spice right there. Right. Did you see his face acting like he was distraught about it? 
once again, the horrific wreckage of Transoceanic Flight 37. Just beginning to wash up on shore. They didn't have to die. Do you have a comment? I said they didn't have to die. We arrived three minutes after the plane went down. Why? That is not true, bro. Because we're not in the chain of command. 123 men, women, and children. Excuse me. If they let us into the military, then this will never happen again. That is my solemn promise to you. Wow. Talk to your congressman. Together, we will make sure that this never happens to our great nation ever again. What an actor. We hear you, Homelander. And I hear you, brother. <laughs> I hear you. Whoever did this to us will hear from all of us. I just think it's crazy not one person suspicious of his ass. Yeah, Billy Butcher. <laughs> Homelander! 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 I'm just saying not one average person thinks like maybe it's not a good idea to like give you guys all that power considering the fact that we're defenseless against you. Right. <laughs> guys, that was a crazy episode. You know, this show is... It's something else, man, but I, I, I'll put it this way. I'm really getting into it. I've never seen anything like this in my life. <laughs> yeah, four episodes in, and this is, it's just unique. You know, we're on a unique roll over here, man. We're on a Tarantino kick right now, and not to dive into it, but when you watch Tarantino, you're watching something different, at least to me, and this show feels... Also different. I don't know how the hell this show feels. It feels all kinds of stuff. Yeah, like, because... I used to think it was a superhero show, The Boys. I thought The Boys was that was Homelander. And I was like, oh, we're just going to watch this crew just, you know, fight evil. But they're the evil. They're you know what it feels worst. like? You know what it feels like a little bit? Mm -hmm. It feels like some Ghostbusters or something. I've never even seen Ghostbusters, to be honest, but I get like the general concept. They go and they hunt down ghosts. And it feels like the main character and his boys, they're like hunting soups, but it's like they're the Ghostbusters or something. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like a sitcom that had been on that would have been on TV when we were growing up or something like uh there was one, it was called like, Hello, My Name is Reaper. Do you guys remember that one? You don't, don't know, know that one. No. That was on, I think like Fox 5 or something. It was on one of the stations that I did have because I just had a satellite growing up. And um, it was like, Hello, My Name is Reaper. And I watched like the first episode. It was basically a guy had to deal with the devil and the devil would make him like chase down demons who escaped from hell. But him and the devil were kind of like friends, even though he was the devil and they like hated each other. It was a concept and this show is sort of reminding me of that mm -hmm. maybe i hit like a nostalgia chord in some of you guys's heads but let me know like when that show went off how many seasons it was and why did they cancel that show because i was kind of into it when i was a kid <laughs> okay. but this show gives me that vibe though oh okay well i feel like shows like this they look back in history and they look at great shows that maybe weren't like universally recognized and i feel like they draw concepts from them and they definitely play off them why would you not right right and so i feel like maybe th this show gives me a little bit of that vibe i don't know i i feel like this one it, it is called a superhero show but i feel like in a weird way it's kind of mocking them i don't know well it's mocking the audacity of like people in positions of power and, yeah you know the show is like political in a sense and it's making like right-wing type talking points it's making slightly more left-wing talking points but it's definitely playing the political game a lot and it's like making like a mockery of it in a sense. So right. it's just trying to do that thing where TV shows are like really self-aware, you know, mm. they're like, look how people in positions of power act, even though the people who make the shows are. It's just kind of showing the power. ugly side of, I guess, of all that stuff. Like, for example, the perfect example is the deep. He's like the perfect example of that because <laughs> he's, he's the like, funniest character. Yeah, yeah, he really is. Like, I don't I don't like him because of what he did to Starlight, but. Like, he's the comic relief you need in this show. We, we definitely got off to a wrong. <laughs> like a bad start with him yeah we got off to a wrong to a wrong pair of cheeks with that guy <laughs> uh you know he wouldn't be that bad but you gotta at least at least get a hint that that action needs to be taken but anyways <laughs> the dolphin flew out the window he was sitting there trying not to be like assaulted by the dolphin which was insane <laughs> i never i've never even like imagined these concepts is what i'm trying to say like i don't even know how people come up with this stuff yeah because when he said it was his friend i was like I was like, oh, he just got a lead from somewhere and they're trying to make it seem. But no, this man really is involved with sea creatures. <laughs> that is insane. And I, I like Starlight, too. I like how Huey and her are kind of a thing. But I was starting to think it was genuine at the beginning of the date. But I'm realizing that Huey is now. I always open up the names, especially early on in a series. I just don't want to sit there and be like, oh, what was that guy's name? Because I do that a lot. It takes me a couple episodes to remember the names. But I almost have them all. But I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. 
my easiest way to remember the show, if it ends in a Y, they're a good guy, mostly. Oh, really? Like Annie, Huey, Billy, Frenchie. We're at the beginning of the show. And you know how shows progress and they become mm. something so different than what they began? I could see this show really becoming like full scale. Like, I think my prediction is they will eventually infiltrate the military. Mm. I think eventually this show, you know, we may go overseas eventually, you know? Like, mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they were taking like trips to other nations to like talk and delegate and stuff. So that'd be really interesting to see. And I think that these type of characters could cause a world war. Right. So it's, like, it's really scary. They're Sorry, gonna build answer. Homelander's power by giving him like the military and stuff. Like, but I feel like within like you can tell with Maeve especially, she's sick of his you know shit basically and it's gonna be hard for them to really expose him when he does get that power yeah Maeve's kind of weird to me only because like everyone's gonna be like oh she's great you're supposed to like her you're an idiot if you have the wrong opinion about well, her they, I get it. they keep showing her as an alcoholic they keep pinning her as that well so. they keep pinning her well they also pin her as someone who let active shooters take shots at people for minutes on end and she wasn't stressing about it mm -hmm. so on some level she's a little bit twisted the way the level. way I saw that was like maybe at the beginning she was kind of like an Annie character, and then, she and then yeah, because over time. And because that's what she happened. walked in and just seemed so numb to all of it, and yeah, so and that's it was like it, it was like and and you know her and Homelander had a relationship, so she's been doing this a while. Mm -hmm. But when she was trying to save that little girl, I felt genuine that she was really trying to do that. Right, which was the part that made me maybe she's just sensitive to kids or something. Maybe she's sensitive to that, or maybe. That's why she's in the business because someone saved her as a small child. Yeah, maybe. Or something like that. I mean, I like her character. Obviously, she's getting sick of Homelander and she she obviously wasn't comfortable with that lie that she had to spill. And he's sitting there playing, he's just playing it so well and he's hyping up the people. And it's one thing to like lie, but it's another thing to lie and then actively like put on a whole show just to prop up well, your lie. It, right. You know but I mean? during that, so do you think his whole motive was to spin that the way it was? Or do you think Initially, he was going to go try to help, but then when he realized it was like work or too much. Well, the, the problem with help to in their minds, help is like a currency. So if they can help and it helps them, then sure. It's kind of right. like if I can help you and you can pay me to do a job, of course I'll do it. But if you want to pay me to do it, just because you're going to pay me to do a job doesn't mean that it's really worth my time. And right. I think that's the way they view it. It's like if it can help them exalt like expand and consolidate power then it's worth it and right. saving people is the best way to get the public on your side mm -hmm. so people will put up with a lot of crap because you're offering security so they'll give up like a ton of rights and stuff right. so i think that's what's happening here right yeah because because i did notice when he used his eye or whatever and the plane went down he was immediately like all right let's go and oh he so, didn't care he like didn't he could because a marvel superhero i hate to bring them up and relate them but a marvel superhero would have flown back 123 times and had no issue doing so. Right. Like, so when I heard that or when I was like, why can't he just go out there and stop it? I was mm -hmm. like, obviously, because something's he has like something else in mind or it's just too much for him. You could help an old lady take her trash out, right? Because you can be like, OK, well, I can just wheel it out there. But if you actually really have to go like work to get the damn trash in the road, you might not do it. And I think that's kind of how he was. Yeah. He just didn't really want to do anything because. He's, he's a super. So in a sense, he's extremely lazy because mm. doing like activities like, you know, stopping hijackers is effortless. You mm. know, it's the equivalent of me just pressing a button and giving you air. I mean, it's mm. effortless to me. But, you know, if I actually had to lift something to give you air, if I'm, you know, I just don't think he would do it. So right. he just seems like the worst type of like moral character. So I'm not going to give him any benefit of the doubt at all until right. I really see a reason to. But he's just. Just the cliche of just the worst type of person, I guess. And so I would ways. say he's the most interesting because I feel like he's kind of brainwashed or something. Like something is not right with his psyche, Homelander. Because he can, when he was. Well, babe, he has <laughs> ultimate power. You think that's. Yeah. That's I mean, all it is. Like, with, like, if you're ultimately, like, if you're all powerful, you're going to be all corrupt. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way the universe spins. Like, you can try to make examples and stuff, but you're just lying to yourself. That's just how it goes. Like, the more corrupt you are, you know, you could be the most powerful person and want to do all the good, but the second you turn around, someone's going to shoot you in the back of the head and take your spot because they don't want good. Mm -hmm. And if you're good, you're not really willing to, like, play by the same rules that someone that's not good is. So right. only someone that terrible would probably be in that position. Mm -hmm. But I, I think a lot of it is just because he's all powerful. Right. You know? In this episode, though, we did find out a lot of clues about why Billy and them are doing this. And the most of those clues was because I guess Mallory, the lady who worked for the CIA, 
who they were getting the files from. I guess her her grandkids were torched or something like that. I think right, that was right. who Mallory was. But but basically, lamp, Lampshade or whatever his name was, yeah. he had something to do with it. And so when he retired, maybe he didn't really retire. Maybe they killed him or something. Or he's one of them. Or maybe that just hurt his reputation, so he's just a B-lister now. Maybe. You know, because it seems like there's a lot of B-listers. Mm -hmm. Because they're talking about how... You know, you they have one your, in each town. They're like, dude, you better win this race. Or you're going to be a B lister. And it's right. Like, everyone sees them. They go crazy. But at the same time, if he loses a race, he's going to become a B lister. It seems like it's a competitive market to try to. So, be. so that's why obviously a train shoots up and stuff because mm -hmm. he tries to be like, the there's best. a lot of pressure to keep a spot. Right. Yeah. So, but the thing about that was, was why was he shooting up before that bank robbery thing? Cause he's like, not as quick as he used to be or something. Remember when he killed maybe Robin? The, maybe. Maybe he was just doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. Period. Maybe he wasn't sent on a mission. Uh, like maybe, maybe he was on it because he needed to do something. But since he, he was got messed called. up, he just maybe he wasn't even on a mission. Was he on a mission? Yeah, they were on a mission. They were on, they a, mission. Were on a mission. Okay, they were on a mission. But he ran right through her, and the reason I guess they covered it up was because because that, and also maybe because he was on drugs. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know because. This compound V thing is obviously a huge thing because even Miss Stillwell was talking about it in the first couple episodes. And that's why I thought it was a place because she was bringing it up. Right. Yeah, we're just going to have to see more of it, to be honest. I mean, that like, I don't even know who this girl is that, that, that just entered. Like, why is she why was she being locked up? That's what I'm saying. We're going to have to see more. I feel like ultimately where we're at right now is you can't trust the government. Obviously, you can't trust any of the agencies. You can't trust Homelander and these superheroes seem to be like an infection man they're using their powers for bad and basically people are helpless like i don't even know in real life they wouldn't even be doing the whole sham of elect me to congress or elect people to congress and all that they wouldn't even do all that in real life in real life they would just consolidate power and that's it because th there's nothing you could do about it but i'm excited to see what like the counter is you know someone's keeping these characters in line how are they doing that you know what do they possess to be able to do that. Right. And then, so what's his name? What was his name? Edgar? Right. Was that right. it? Edgar. And then Homelander obviously is very arrogant because like I said, he's all powerful. So mm -hmm. he's just at the point where I get the vibe that you really can't tell him anything. So he's going to mm -hmm. start bucking the system eventually. And I think he's just going to become like a rogue character that they're not going to be able to control. Right. Because he's still worried about his image. I thought Miss Sowell, I, I think her name's Madeline. I wouldn't say Madison or Madeline, but she, I feel like he was, she's the only person that could like talk him down from stuff. But Based off this last episode, it seems like she gave him that suggestion and that suggestion was just a suggestion to him. He still had he was going to spin it, but it still spun it in her favor. Well, ultimately, if they don't like it, what are they going to do about it? That's what I'm wondering. Right. You know what I mean? And she's really optimistic about them being invincible. So to me, she has something to do with their makeup or something. You know what I'm saying? Because well, every time she's like. No, he's not dead. There's just no way he's not dead. I think it's very important to tell. Well, I think they really, really, really want to convince the people that not only are these superheroes super, they're invincible. Like the dragons so, on House of the Dragons, basically, right? Right. When yeah. they saw them down, that's when everything well, because went Because people crazy. won't accept this, this, this world that they're living in where the dragons rule everything. If they get the hint that the superheroes can be killed, then maybe they'll start. In their minds, they're here to stay. They're invincible. There's, there's, there's one in every town. There's it's literally an impossibility that they won't be here eventually. So now that the idea that they're not invincible starts to creep in, then maybe the idea that we should like maybe take back our lands and stuff, so mm -hmm. that way we're not being controlled by these people who obviously don't care or represent us in any type of way. You know, and even if you're a superhero and you're great, I mean. All it takes is one homelander to screw everything up, mm -hmm. you know. It just this show is just interesting in that way. How I can't wait to see more of like I guess just other than Huey, like a normal person's point of view of the situation, especially when because it, it's going to get political. I can tell. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, so when they start being more political with them entering the army and the military and all that, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting show, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're like four episodes in. I think we're keeping up with it for the most part, but it is very complicated. There's a lot going on. And with shows like this that are so shocking, I'll be honest with you, I always need like an episode or two just to like, you know, like, you know, when you first hop into a pool and you're just disoriented because it's so cold mm -hmm. at first, but you got to adjust. I feel like that's how the show is, man, because 
if you guys are watching it with us, you know what I'm talking about. You know when you like enter a new show and that like there's like so many possibilities you could open yeah. up. Yeah. And for us, we're just like see based off what we see, we make that re that inference. But like people who've seen it, they they already know which way it's kind of going. A lot of the, don't. <laughs> a lot of the times in a TV show, the first couple episodes, I will make like a theory or a prediction in my head, and then I'll state it because I'm just trying to like you know. Talk like I still have one. I still have one. Madeline is their mom. And people will get mad and they'll be like, "Why are you making theories? Just shut up and watch a show." And I get that right, but I'm also trying not to be boring. But dude, I feel like it takes me a couple episodes to understand the tone of a show, like because. Like early on, I would never have expected that they would have made jokes about like a dolphin. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's just such a like I would have never predicted. I thought I that guy was gonna that. be just a dark, creepy person the whole time in the corner. But when Homelander comes around, he like he's like a yes, sir, Mister Homelander. Right. And so the first two episodes, if I was predicting what was <clears> gonna happen, I would have kept it going along like a certain narrative. But now that I recognize the show, you know, feels more like a Family Guy episode in some ways. Then maybe my predictions would be so. A you lot don't crazier. get anything. You don't get any vibe weird about Madeline. Like when you saw that baby, you didn't think that's the next Homelander. You didn't think that. No, that's I think what I'm she's thinking. weird. I don't like that lady at all. She's evil. She's. I terrible. know, but like, do you? I think don't like her because literally, by 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 her own admission, her job is to take every factual piece of information and spin it in a way that's going to control the narrative to the people. So yeah. by definition, she's a serpent and she needs to go. Right, but you don't get any vibe from her like that. She could be like. Like when you saw that baby, you weren't like, that's their Homelander's show. baby. I didn't think it was Homelander's baby. I feel like it could be derived from his DNA or something. That's what I mean. Like the first two episodes, I wouldn't have thought that. I'm thinking now watching that. this. Hey, I could be thinking I'm, that. I would thought that the first time because when he saw her breastfeeding and all that stuff, it was like weird behavior. But it was like, I can't tell if it was a crush or like maybe he also wants that because he used to do that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a crazy show. I know that. Hopefully you guys are having fun watching it, man. Hopefully, uh, I know the show's been out for a while, right? Since 2019. Yeah, so it's it's not old at all, man, but it's slightly old. So hopefully you guys are still having but fun watching wait a the minute, reactions though. to it because I know it's been out. You know how, sorry, there's something in the show that I just want to bring up. Billy Butcher was watching this Becca tape, right? Mm -hmm. He was watching her being sad in the park, but it said January 2012. So either Becca's not with us anymore or this show takes place in 2012. Well, my mind was... I was just thinking that obviously she's missing and she's been missing and he wakes up every day looking at the last piece of evidence trying to figure out is there any clue in this is just that not by what the look thinking? of her face no i thought i thought it could be her i thought he was watching her like live or something no no no. they said he starts his day out watching the same video so in oh. my mind he wakes up every day and he says something happened to me love i don't know what happened but one day it's gonna dawn in me head i'm gonna when figure I'm it out me mate. <laughs> and then in my mind, definitely, like, the soups had something to do with it. That's yeah. That's why he hates him so much. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's like a, he has multiple motives, you know. He he definitely would like to take out some soups, but he also is on his own personal journey to discover what happened. To and her. it seems like if if someone else has a problem with the soups and he finds out, like, about it, he mm -hmm. gets them to join him. Because, yeah. obviously. The battle of the dispossessed. Right. Obviously, Mother's Milk had something wrong with the soups, too. Misery loves company, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, man, I, I really like the show. I think it's dark, it's uncomfortable, it's awkward. I can't believe so many people are watching us watch it. That's a little weird, <laughs> but you know what? We're having a lot of fun with it, so like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.